Chat beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Happy Wednesday. Hope you guys are having a fabulous week. Today, doo -doo -doo, we're going to make something a bit different on a fancy fold series, if we want to call it like that. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this fancy fold open element. Now, this can be a card because you could cut a square, a white square of cardstock and then write your message. Or, in my case, what I'm going to use, I'm going to glue this on a journal and the person will open up and I'm going to put something in there. Now, if you put like a gift card or um, anything that is not very bulky, it can stay in here. You can put something in the middle. So, for example, I've got something that's not bulky. I don't know this for example and then you just close it now and then it will stay like that okay so it's inside you can feel it but you can't see it so it's to hide little messages or it can be a little gift card holder or you can take it even further with one of this each of this square can be a little pocket so you can put things inside so before I show you how to make them, let me show you the uh, VIP papers for this month. I have sh I have used uh, one of my digital um, paper packs for the September VIP lounge. It's called Cute Cats. Um, <laughs> oh, it's so adorable. So you've got loads of different cats. Um, so I have used one of the paper packs. I literally got, out of all the four sheets, this is what I've got left. <laughs> I have used up literally everything out of the four paper sheet. Um, so yeah, so before I show you how to make it, let me show you the VIP lounge um, papers for the month of September. In case you guys are new to me, the VIP lounge is a membership that I have offered on my website. When, when you register, you get three paper packs each month, a 30% off discount code across everything on my website. And you also get um, a monthly offer. Okay, it changes every month. Um, you don't have to do anything. I will email you the papers. Uh, you can join by paying one fee upfront, or you just pay five pound a month, which is less than the price of a coffee every single month until you decide to cancel it. So let me show you the VIP lounge papers for the month of September. And also you get forgot to tell you you get a um letter box so this month we are on letter e so of course you will get a template okay so this is the template i printed it on cardstock and there is a, a private video that i'll show you how to put all this together so you get the letter e so so far how many letters did we do let's have a look so we've made letter a letter b letter c and letter D, and every month is different. Okay, so in October will be letter F. I already designed it, but I'm not gonna tell you what it's going to be look like. <laughs> I don't want to spoil it for my uh, VIP, VIP members. So yeah, so every month um, the letter is different. What can we spell from here? I think we can spell cab, which is another name for taxi. What else can we, uh, I don't know, catchphrase. <laughs> So yeah, anyway, let me show you the papers. Okay guys, welcome to the papers from September of my VIP lounge subscription. So let me show you the number one. Number one is this one here. Oh my God, it's so cute. And I say myself, <laughs> let me zoom out a little bit, that's it. It's called Cute Cats. So it's four pages full of adorable cats, <laughs> simple as. So they're all very similar, but yet each page is different. And you've got different um, flower, different scales. You can do cards. Oh, I've got so many ideas of what I want to do with this. So cute cats, number one. Number two, it's called graffiti which is this one here. So it's a bit like inspiration, it's about 19th pop culture. 
So we've got lovely tones of green and red, some angry cats, a cheeky cat. <laughs> we've got this page here. As you can see, this color palette is pretty much the same. So it's all pages blend. And this is page number four. Let's put some stars. So yeah, so they're all very different, but again, they all match. So this is graffiti. Collection number three, which is my favorite one, is called Vintage Dresses. So you get a page with a lovely doll. Look how cute she is. And then you get one, two, three, four, four pages with all different dresses. So you've got the one on the hangers, the one like that. So they're all super, super cute. Let's see. Look at that one. The color palette is very, um, it's very similar. So it's all these blue and pinks. For that one with a little bow. It's all blend together. Got a couple of ideas of what to do with these papers. I will showcase the next coming week. And then you get i haven't got a printout but i'll show you on my comp on my screen on my laptop now okay guys so these are the five bookmarks that you will get with this month vip lounge it's a little treat it's an additional gift <laughs> from me to you guys the reason why i didn't print them is it's because it's not something that i will personally use but i think they are adorable especially if you print them on cardstock and also if you print them front and back you'll be able to have this double-sided but i think they're really cute i will probably use the black and striped one with the gold hearts but they're super super cute and um, they are my favorite colors i must admit because i do like black and white with a bit of gold and i do like pink and green together i think they're very bright um they're a bit summery and also, yeah, they just give you some positive vibes, or I hope they do, at least. So you get the Flamingo bookmarks as well. And then last but not least, you get the letter E. Okay, so this is the template. I just printed this on a simply copy paper. And this is what it looks like when it's done up. Let me just move this out of the way, because otherwise you won't be able to see it. So just gonna turn everything white. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So, and there is a private video for all the my VIP members where I share how to make this. Simply like cutting it and then glue the tabs, etc., etc. So this is being designed from the graffiti papers. So so far we've got letter A, letter B. Letter C. Last month was letter D in August and letter E for September. Okay, so we've done four, five letters so far. A, B, C, D, and E with this. It's very, very simple to make. It's a square. Okay, so unfortunately it doesn't fit <laughs> on my camera because this is huge. This is a 12 by 12. Okay, so each one of my square is three inch so it's three six nine three six nine simple as that and then in the middle we get we're going to draw i think i need to glue this down um we're going to draw like a little square let me show you how to make it so the starting point is a square now i don't think this is a square because i think i have used a little bit but let me let me measure it so that's 12 yeah i didn't think it was so that's 12 and this is is that 11 is it quite 11 so yeah i've got to chop one inch yeah and this looks like a square now <laughs> so you can make this as big as you want or as small as you want okay so let me get my scoring board So 
so yeah let me move it as you can see what i'm doing now it is 11 by 11 god 11 by 11 so we're going to divide it in four now actually let's do something easier so we don't mess about we're cutting um cutting it short like because we got to divide it by four i'm just going to trim another inch of it so it's gonna be a 10 by 10 let me just measure what that is a 10 so it's easy because we can make each square 2.5 that's right so so what we're going to do we're going to score it at 2.5 there 5 and 7.5 and then we rotate they do exactly the same so we're going to do 2.5 5 7.5 that's it simple as that in there let me move it here okay does this fit in the camera just not quite so you've got one two three four one two three four okay and then it's four squares in the middle one two three and four can you see them one two three four so in here we're going to draw uh, another square but on the other way around so we're just going to draw a line a diagonal line on each of these squares so it's the second square inside the bigger square if i'm making sense so you see here that it's one two three four so we just draw a diagonal line okay so what we simply do guys we're just gonna score it Okay, now this cardstock that I am using is very cheap and I'm never going to buy it again. In fact, I think I've got three sheets left. And do you know why? Because of this. Look how horrible it is. To be fair, I had the best review on Amazon and I needed some plain cardstock. I use plain cardstock to do projects like this when I know the entire project is going to be covered by papers and it's something a bit solid as a background so this paper pack had a really good review and then i thought all right let's give it a go because the reviews were very positive nobody has mentioned about how badly it has okay so we just simply score this diagonal line yeah it has really bad look at that because the actual cardstock is white and has been coded in a different colors. Can you see? If I zoom it in. Yeah, see, that's pulling off. Because it's, it's a cheaper way of making cardstock. So you're simply using white sheet and you just coat colors in it, right? Instead of if you're actually having the entire sheet that is colored, but then you're gonna lose more money you're gonna you know you need more money because the entire sheet is actually using the pigment to color the sheet rather than using white cardstock and then put coat it front and back I hope it's, I'm making, I'm making so you score the diagonal lines and that's the most important bit and it doesn't really matter when you start but how you fold it you get and this is what I'm trying to explain at my very best so you start here and you've got to create like a little square or you're just walking all the way around. So firstly, trying to bend the papers so it follows. See, if you're trying to bend it first, then you will follow what you're making. So let's start from the bottom. So lift it up and you create your first square, okay? Then this one here goes inwards and that's where you get your first rectangular shape, okay? Then you turn it and you're gonna do exactly the same. And then you turn it 
and then you fold that inwards. Okay, so you get this sort of shape. Why is it not working? Hold on. Hold on, hold on. That's it. So you get this sort of shape. So let me try. I don't know if it's easy to zoom it in, but I don't think it is. So let's start again. So you bend it there. <laughs> it's hard to explain. You just need to mess about with your with your foot. Let me open it up. So imagine you pinch those two. So this corner there, this point here and this point here, you, you want them to marry in the middle. And then this this point here. Let me just draw a little bit. So imagine those four points. You want those four points to mirror together, to match. You want them to kiss, you see? You want them to kiss one another. And this is how you fold it. That's probably the best way to fold this. Okay, so if I get, if I get my um, prototype, so it was the same, okay? So in fact, uh, what did I want to show you? So it looks like these. So this point, this point matching, kissing together, and then this point and this point trying to kiss together. Okay, so till you get the shape. Simple as. Okay, guys, I hope you um, like uh, this little project now you can do what you want with this as i said you can put pockets you can simply uh, leave it as it is you can overly decorate it we do something in the middle but the joy of this is um, you can make this in, in any sort of dimension the starting point is a square so what are you probably want to do you probably want to glue it in there in fact i'm not fold it right because you. you've got to have a little um a little diamond shape on the back yeah that's it see you see this diamond so this side you know that you fold it right when on the back you've got this diamond shape so this is where you glue it on your journal or whatever you want to do with it okay guys if you wish to join my vip papers let me show you my website where to find them okay guys so this is my website so when you look at AntonioMakes.com. So this is the um, homepage. If you click on VIP Lounge, there you go. You got my membership plan. So you have a gold butterfly, which you pay five pound a month, and then you have a yearly one. So you got the VIP Lounge yearly membership. Okay. So if you click on here, you have thirty percent discount across all digital papers on the website. Three mini at least four pages each. A monthly offer or a gift, uh, a five size of five art print delivered to your home address, and a special video with project and tutorial. So you get all of this when you subscribe for the Gold Butterfly on a five pound monthly plan. If you click on the early description, click on details, you got exactly the same treats that you have with a monthly one but you basically pay once up front okay okay guys that's it so you saw where to find out how to join my membership on my website so if you like these super cute pop-up fancy fold project consider giving a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe so you get all the um gift box letters as well so if you wish to have them uh, the previous one just email me and i'm sure i'll um i'll be able to um come up with a, an option for you guys uh, thank you so much for watching the video and if you like it please consider giving a big big huge thumbs up it really helps with my journey here on youtube and also guys if you wish to join my vip lounge i will put all the links down below 
guys enjoy the rest of your day or night depending what time you're watching i will see you on friday for another friday freebie and until then stay safe and well Mwah. bye <music>